Hello there guys, Feng Fur here. Um, I'm just bringing up this little video um, before I change into 64-bit uh, uh, Windows 7. So at the moment I'm currently running um, Windows 7 32-bit and um, as many of you might have noticed um, it's very... oh god that was a bit of a lag spot. But uh, some of you might have noticed um, my recent videos um, have been rather laggy and keep freezing now and again. Um, I've recently found out the reason why is because I am actually running 32 bits and it doesn't recognise all the RAM which means gah, it makes recording quite hellish actually so um, never mind about that Daisy now there's been a lot of people that are having problems trying to get um, their frames per second quite on this game and uh, there are quite a few n number of reasons for this. Number one is the op is the options. There is quite a lot of options to uh, contend with on Daisy, and Armor too, for that for that matter. But um, you, the, it is tweakable, and I'm going to show you a bit later how to um, how to change it. Um, also, um, it's also servers. Now, some servers might not be able to hold very well, which means if there's a lot of people on the server, you're going to naturally have lower frames per second anyway, and also some constant lag spikes. This is obviously uh, inevitable. But obviously there are some servers that are pretty good and can hold more than that. So that's just something to take into consideration. So you probably might be best to find uh, a type of ARM server, maybe? So that you're okay? Anyway. Um, you can also do something through um, the config folder, which I will uh, I'll link in the description later. So let's just have a quick look. So let's just play it here. Okay, okay. So we've got options and we've got video options. Now, in my old videos, I actually had quality prefer preference on I, and all these was all over the bloody place. So it was a nightmare and uh, you could it, you could tell them the quality of my videos was absolutely appalling and I'm really ashamed of uploading them like that so I really do apologize for that so anyway um, your visibility now um, most servers do actually have a cap on visibility so um, I believe I think the caps around about 2700 ish I think but either way I don't know the exact numbers but the lower your visibility, the more FPS you're going to get anyway. Now, brightness and gamma won't matter. That's just personal preference. That that won't mess with your uh, frames per second at all. Now, this is just a preset, so you don't really need to press that if you don't want to. You just have it on very well and then just tweak it yourself. Now, you need the interface resolution the same as your monitor, ideally. Now, you can have it lower if you've got a, 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 a quite an old graphics card. But try and get the same, same with your 3D resolution. Okay. Now the problem is, if your 3D resolution doesn't match with your interface resolution, if it's lower, then it's going to have um, graphical problems. Everything's going to seem blurry. That's exactly what happened on my videos. I had, um, I was in 720 and had the 3D resolution quite low. So that's a problem. This means that the uh, the videos were really choppy, and also your movements will be quite choppy as well. So, you want to keep that around about the same. Okay, you can actually have it higher if you wanted. Um, uh, the higher the better, in a sense, but it, it might affect your frames per second. So, anyway. Now, your texture detail won't affect FPS that much at all. So, this can probably be on high or even very high if you wanted. I've just got everything on high just for, um, just for this purpose. So... Uh, your video memory will probably want to be on actually very high. I don't know why it's on. It's not on very high already. Um, but yeah, you want as much video memory as you can because this will give you much more um, FPS. So, and for filtering, you want that on fairly high, possibly. Yep, yeah, you want that on fairly high or very high if you wanted. This doesn't really matter that much either. Let's just show you. Let's just put these on very high. Okay. I haven't had that much of an SPF. Uh, um, frames per second. So at the moment I'm recording at 20. And it's just froze. With uh, 32 bits. Yep. Anyway. Anti-aliasing. So. 
Uh, you want this disabled because if you got enabled, it's absolutely horrible. It completely knocks off the FPS uh, frames per second. I think just this alone knocks around about five frames per second off uh, in, uh, on my uh, current machine. Now these can still stay high or very high depending on what you want. Uh, shadow detail um, is the one that uses up the most um, frames per second if you have it on high. So I'm going to just stick it on normal. And I've actually had an increase of uh, 2 there, so that's quite nice. Uh, I'm not too sure if you can actually see it in the video or not, but um, yeah, I've just increased it by 2. So it's now at 22 frames, it's quite nice. Uh, HDR quality. Now, the higher the better, to be quite honest. And as soon as we put that on, it's decided to freeze. Now, so, uh, the higher you got this, uh, the better quality you'll get. Now, this will affect uh, frames per second a little bit. But if you're like me and you like to record, um, this is probably the best way to go. It's it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at that already. Look at the grass. Look how nice that is. Hang on. So, post, uh, post process. Now, this is what makes uh, you blurry when you uh, when you move. You want that disabled because that not only is it absolutely horrible to actually play with, it knocks your um, frames per second down quite a bit. So you want to get rid of that. Interface size, um, that's got nothing to do with it, um, that, that's preference, whatever you want it. Normally normal if you've got um, a 1080. You might have to knock it down to um, to small or very small if you've got a smaller size resolution. Um, aspect ratio, of course, depending on what your screen is, so obviously I'm on 16.9, some are 16.10. Yep, and V-Sync, you also want that disabled because that's horrible and it falls again. Yeah, you want that disabled because it's horrible. Now, um, if like me, you're running 32-bit, uh, um, the problem is, as I've already said, is that um, it doesn't recognise all the RAM. If you've got more than, uh, I think it's 3.75 um, RAM, gigabytes. So, uh, it might be 4, and the extra 0.25 gets you somewhere else. But the fact of the matter is, uh, if you're running two things at the same time, like, this, the, the, obviously, um, DayZ Armor 2 is quite... Um, is quite a graphics card um thingy magic <laughs> thingy magic oh god i can't think of the word i'm having a blonde moment here but yeah it's very intensive there we go it's very graphic intensive and fraps as well knocks the fps quite a lot so um without without fraps on it probably run, mine runs around about 40 to 50 which is pretty damn good for the card i've got you know, it's pretty damn good. Anyway, that's what you need roughly. Anyway, like I said, uh, the ones you might want to change are the shadow. You want that to... You don't really need shadows. But if you want shadows, that's fine. But it will knock a little bit of your um, FPS down. Same with the HDR quality. The best, the, the higher the better. But it might affect your um, FPS. So be careful about that. Definitely disable that, that and that. You don't really need them at all. Uh, especially that pro that that post process is absolutely horrible. So anyway, that's the main that, that's the main setup sorted, right? So let's just okay that. That's brilliant. Now I'm just going to run around so you can actually see, and um, which better it is. Bearing in mind, oh, okay. When you start moving, your frames per second will naturally go down, but this is a constant uh, 20 fps. This isn't too bad. Obviously, there's a couple of. Uh, couple of threes in there, that, that's the 32 bit side, I can't do anything about that, sorry. Um, I will be going 64 bit tomorrow, but I wanted to record this in 32 bit just to show that it can still be done. Obviously, if you're not running two things at the same time, or if you're not using which you, um, CPU or GPU, then it won't freeze at all, and you'll be running very smoothly, which is damn nice. Okay, um, there's one last thing, oh, there's a bubble there. Hello, I am a bull. Fortunately, I've got nothing to kill it with, so. Uh, is it alive? I can give it a staring contest. Oh, it's alive, oh shit. <laughs> anyway, um, the one last thing you can do is you can actually change uh, the, config, the config files of uh, Armour 2 and uh, Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. And um, I'll, I'll actually link, uh, put in the link uh, how to do it. But you basically turn the uh, the frames to uh, one on one, and this basically gives you a much more fluid 
uh, gaming experience. So, uh, I'll also put all the details of my uh, computer so that you can gauge it um, to see if it will actually help you at all. It should help most people, even people that have got quite low end graphics cards, but obviously expect a lot less uh, FPS. And as I said before, um, just be very careful about uh, what server you go on as that can cause you to have FPS issues as well. Well, this has helped you. Um, if it does, just um, just like and I don't know, maybe uh, maybe subscribe if I'm lucky. Hey, eh? <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, I hope this really helps you. It's really helped me a lot. Um, I basically got a, a, a 10 to 12 FPS jump, and it's going to get even more once I get um, 64 bit. It's just going to get even more. Okay then, guys, think first, and I'll see you later.